Shenley presents A Midwinter Night's Dream Starring Tim Conway and Harvey Corman. <laughs> With guest star, Tim Conway. And special guest star, Harvey Corman. Also starring Tim Conway. <laughs> With a guest appearance by Harvey Corman. <laughs> And special cameo appearances by Harvey Corman and Tim Conway. Once again, be your master of ceremonies for the presentation of Shenley's 1979 holiday packaging. Let me show you a few more samples. Now, I realize that some of you are getting a little restless, but uh, and, uh, let's say, uh, <laughs> oh, two, maybe three, three, uh, let's see, two hours and 50 minutes, exactly nine o'clock, we'll all... Uh, take a little break and we'll stretch our legs and go to the potty and do all those wonderful things, okay? Now then, Charter 10, the vintage 10-year-old bourbon and truly the final step up. And Old Charter, Kentucky's finest bourbon. Smooth, mellow tasting, and just look at these wonderful holiday gift cartons. Two superb holiday cocktail drinks. And here's another perfect gift. Canada's finest, McNaughton whiskey. <laughs> you know, this whiskey sort of reminds me of yet another amusing experience I had while I was in college. <laughs> this, uh, this guy I roomed with, a guy by the name of Harry Morgenthal, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. It wasn't Harry. It was Henry. That's right. It was Henry because he hated to be called Hank. It was Larry that hated to be called Hell. That's right. Yeah. Hank. Hank. That's right. Oh, Henry. Anyway. <laughs> you haven't heard anything yet. No. One night, he... He thought of this terrific joke to play on the other guys. And they came over for our Wednesday night poker game, you see. No, I'm sorry, it was Tuesday night. Yes, it was, uh, yeah, Tuesday night because we, we bowled on Wednesday, that's right. Anyway, what we did was he poured a whole fifth of whiskey into another container, see, and refilled the bottle with apple juice. Well, I can't tell you how surprised the fella looked when they took their first sip and actually discovered they were drinking apple juice. <laughs> Yes, sir, by golly. The country that produced the Renaissance perfects the cordial. The stock holiday portfolio raises the spirits every holiday season. Imported stock Amaretto del Orso and stock coffee espresso. These two come individually gift-wrapped or they both come in this decoratively designed gift pack. A Renaissance double pack. The perfect gift. Stock also offers these famed imported sweet and dry vermouths and stock 84 brandy, the largest selling brandy in the world. And if that's not enough, stock also includes 23 other cordials. And all of these holiday notables are individually boxed and... <laughs> 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 
speaking of holiday notable reminds me of another hilarious incident that happened to me while I was working as a Santa Claus in Duluth, Minnesota. Well, I was, uh, no, I think it was Minneapolis. Yes? No, it was Duluth. By golly, it was Duluth. Yeah, there I was standing on the corner of 9th and Bradbury. No, I'm sorry, it was 8th and Bradbury. Let's see, there was, yeah, there was a, there was a library on 9th and they tore it down and put up hampers. But anyway, we were at 8th, right there, there I was, you know, standing there, Santa Claus, ho, ho, hoing and ringing my little bell. When all of a sudden, this little girl comes in. No, I'm sorry, he was a little boy. Just, he just kind of walked upon me. Anyway, that kid comes up to me, and he says, if you're really sad, really sad, how about naming all of your reindeer? <laughs> this is where it really got funny. I said, easy. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, and Donder. And he thought he had me, and he said, hey, what about Blitzen? This is where I had the kid. I said, sorry, son, Blitzen isn't with me this year. I had to take him in for his 20,000-mile checkup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but there I go, getting sidetracked again with these amusing anecdotes. I'm sorry, I know I'm not supposed to be up here to be funny, but... If you got it, you know you want to share it. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make tonight is, really, folks, is that, that Shenley does produce, import, and market the finest assortment money can buy. Every liquor store in the country should be proud to carry its wide selection of excellent products, especially during this holiday season when so many parties are being planned. <laughs> W. Harper. Good stuff. Hey, is anybody here? I'm a customer, that's who I am. Oh. Uh, look, I'm having a big party tonight, and I don't have too much time, so... Well, like... welcome to the Little Dipper Liquor Store. <laughs> Hi. We got everything here to have a good time. Mm -hmm. So just look around... Yes, thank you. ...at our line. Look around at your line. We got whiskey, yes. vodka, and gin. Uh-huh. We don't have it. We'll get it in. <laughs> Very catchy. Everything for fun that you'll need. So just buy something, even if it's a seed. <laughs> you can go to the east. You can go to the west. But our liquor is pretty good. <laughs> wasn't quite as catchy as the other one. That's our motto. Oh, is that your motto? Right. Got a nice motto. It's very cute. Yeah. Now, Thank I you. would like to... Uh, Most liquor stores don't have a motto. We yes, that's so. Well, I'm very happy. Of course that's so. I wouldn't lie about a thing like that. Well, no. well I wouldn't know that, would I? No. No. <laughs> now, look, old timer. Right. I'm, I'm having a big party tonight. I'm going to have about 50 people there. Okay? Now, uh, what do you suggest? How about a large meatloaf? <laughs> I don't mean to eat, I mean to drink. Great. What kind of cocktail should I serve? Oh, well, we got everything here. Okay. Right, that's why it's a liquor store. Now you're talking. Right, we got liquor. Right, that's what all right. we got. Right, all right. Yeah. I'd like some. If we had watches and rings, we'd be a jewelry store. <laughs> oh, that's, true. Oh, that's very true. If we had bread, we'd be a... Bakery. <laughs> but your liquor store. We'd be a butcher shop if we just sold wieners. Now, cut that out. Very 
Yeah. I want to see some liquor. All right. Come right. on, now, hurry up. I'll tell you what. What? Why don't you have a nice scotch? For scotch people? is good. I, I like scotch. There you go, right oh, here. Look at that. And doer. Yeah. Why later? Yeah. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. Good stuff. Taste is. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> Yes, I like it. Taste never varies. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh -huh. Good. Show you the bottle in here. Not necessary. Well, no trouble at all here. Nice, <laughs> nice bottle. You just pull that out. <laughs> ah! It's gone. <laughs> oh, down the end there. I well, get it for you. Put one. I? Wait. Could you just move it along there? <laughs> Down here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you want to get it for me, O.J.? <laughs> ah, good. Would you please hurry up? I... <laughs> yeah, that's the trouble with people nowadays. They don't take time to stop and smell, uh... Roses! 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 You're making me crazy. You don't have any roses. We got yes. seeds. No, no, never mind the seeds. Forget about the roses. Just show me the scotch. This is very good. Doors is great. I'll tell you what. Oh, all right. Why don't you give your guests choice? Oh, that's good. Anyway, got, that's uh, good. Doers, 12-year-old scotch. Huh? Oh, that's good. Yeah. You got doers. Mm. Well, <laughs> really nice. Very yeah, good. Got the uh, holiday cart. Well, nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. Pretty. Huh? Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Right on here on the cart. That's a picture of the Highlander. <laughs> well, that's very good stuff. I'll take three bottles of each. Three. Tell you what. <clears throat> if you take four of each, I'll tell you what the Highlander has on under his kilt. <laughs> Nobody cares what he has on under his kilt. He does. Yeah. He oh, never mind that. Now, how about some bourbon? Not while I'm on duty. It's not what I mean. It's not what I mean. Maybe after five o'clock. I know a little place down the corner. We can no, lay no, back. No, 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 no. I want to buy some bourbon. We want to buy some bourbon. That's what I said. That's what I heard. Let me get it. Oh, here. Yeah. Right. I'll just show you that, and then you can... Get that for you. Not this short, or you can... Are you all right? I'll be right on. We got ancient age, and we got <laughs> ancient age. <laughs> hey, you got ancient age? Yes, ancient age. Yes. Now, that's 86 proof. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Most of them are just 80 proof. Mm -hmm. This is 86 proof. Ah, huh? yes. So with this, you get six more <laughs> ancient age and ancient ancient age for the discriminating drink. Mm -hmm. That's the finest bourbon, Kentucky bourbon you can buy. You know why? Why? Because it's really. <laughs> hey, 
You please hurry up, right? <laughs> well, where was I? <laughs> You're waiting on me. I'm your customer. Welcome to the Little Dipper Liquor. No! <laughs> you were showing me some bourbon. Why? Why? There you go. All right. Oh, sure. I don't believe it. There this. you go. There's the finest bourbon money can buy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This, isn't ancient, this isn't ancient age. This is imported white Matus wine. Huh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what do you got against wine? I don't have anything against wine. Go real good with your meatloaf. Fine, fine, okay. I'll take I'll take six of the white. Right. No, no, dinner's complete. How's that? Imported white two Portuguese wine. You don't have to do any more selling. I'll the, take six of them. Got the rosé here too. Oh, yeah. White one. Rosé. Oh, white rosé. Okay, I'll take six of each. Six of each. Great. Okay, so. Well, I'll tell you what. What? I'll give you a case of this. Oh, what now, is that? See, well, this is this is the dual pack. I'm showing you here. Let's open that right up. Right there. See there? Oh, okay. I see. A bottle of rosé. Yes. A bottle of wine. Oh, that's fine. It's, it had some case too. Great. That'll show you something else. What? Now, got a bottle of rosé. <laughs> what is this way? You got a bottle of rosé again. Oh, you got that! <laughs> okay, nice. Now you were showing me some bourbon! Right, right. Do you want a bourbon, bourbon, bourbon? That's good. That's good. Bourbon. Yeah, All right. right. How about some right. bourbon? Okay, right. Not until I'm through, though. Five. No, never mind. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm going to get my own bourbon. Wait a minute. That's Boy, it. You can't go back there. That's only meant for the employees of the Little Dipper Liquor Store. Oh, yeah? You can go east. Oh, go never west. mind. Tough you have no scraps. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Hey, this looks good. I'll take six of these. Now, where'd he go? Oh. Okay, pal. Put all the money in that register in this bag. What? Come on, come on, make it snappy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't even work here. Sure you don't. And I ain't really holding you up neither. Oh. Now get him over. What? On. Just quit waving that thing around. All right, I'll quit waving around, but get this stuff out of there. Okay, will I will. Come on, make a move, honey. Oh, all right. I saw a patrol car about a half a block I'm down sorry, the street. I, I don't know what I'm doing I know here. you don't know what you're I'm trying. trying. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm telling you, this doesn't work. Well, this does. Now, hurry it up. Uh, love. Hey, cocktails for two. <laughs> you know, this stuff is supposed to be terrific. And I love Bloody Marys. Oh, yeah? Well, well, uh, well, well, what about the, what about this? Look at this, this gift wrap. Leader size piña colada. You know what they say about cocktails for two? It's the best cocktail you never mixed. Yeah, and in every bottle there's two full drinks and there's 22 to choose from. But, yes, uh, I heard from the grapevine yeah. that they're coming out with a new 750 milliliter party size. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Wow, wow, well, then, no, then, then take all you want. Here, right. be my guest. Right. Yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, hey, about the, uh, hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, I got something else. Hey. How about some Dubonnet, huh? Mm. Uh, it'll hit the spot after a, a big robbery. It's the French idea of a cocktail since 1846. Aren't these attractive gift cartons they come in? And look, here, look at this. Here's a, here's a duo. This is a duo pack for the, for the Dubonnet Red. Oh, and look at this. It's an all-occasion gift-wrapped carton. Isn't that nice? It'll be a nice gift to take back to your gang. Sensational idea. Put them right in the bag. Yes, sir. And then hurry up with that money, will you? Yes, huh? yes okay. Oh, well, uh, why don't you check that attractive carousel over there and see if there's anything else you'd like? Come on, pal. I don't have to check it out. 
I see one of these Shenley multi-brand displays in every liquor store I rock. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, now, come on, and then hurry up with that money. <laughs> now, come on, I'm trying. You want to hurry it up? Hurry it up. I'm trying, I'm trying. Come on, hurry up. Oh, forget the whole thing. I'm going to take the whole cash no, out of with me. Ah, ghost. <laughs> ah, ah, he, 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 he is a ghost. No! Help! Please! I've got a ghost! Help! Boy, you are, you are really lucky that this register was broken. You the, the, the guy that gotten all your money. What are you talking about? It's not broken. You well, of course it's working. broken. It isn't. I got a secret yeah. button on there. So Where? What kind of button? Steal it. Right. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Well, uh, maybe he'll be back after he eats that meatloaf. <laughs> 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 so instead of one, I wound up with two free passes to the miniature golf course. <laughs> Isn't that a riot? George Dickel, Tennessee Sour Mash Whiskey, makes for down-home holiday sipping this season. Smooth as moonbeams, because it's made with clear, sweet spring water. George Dickel, number 12, in its handsome holiday carton. And this collector's item. There's a little bit of Tennessee when they ever sip. <laughs> You know, speaking of spring water, reminds me of a crazy story that happened to me while I was in the Naval Reserve. Well, there we were in San Diego. And, well, we weren't actually in San Diego. We were just about two, three miles outside the city limits. So these buddies, not we were, well, we were about three miles exactly from the center of San Diego. Maybe not even that far. Anyway, a bunch of us went into this little bar. Let's see, who was there? There was Eddie, Rob, Billy, George, and myself. That's right. So we go in here. No, I don't think Rob went with us that weekend. I think he went back to North Dakota to marry. Or no, his sister was getting married. Well, anyway, it was an anniversary, so finally he went back. Anyway, we went into this bar called The Anchors Away. You know, there were a lot of Navy guys hung out there, so... Well, it wasn't really a bar, I mean... I mean, in the sense that they had snacks, you know, potato chips, beef jerky, stuff like that. In fact, I saw one guy eating an egg salad sandwich. Of course, I'm not sure whether he bought it there or at the uh, kitchen in the back or whether he got it down at the drugstore on the corner. I'm not sure. Anyway, we were sitting at the bar for a couple of minutes, you know, and then the bartender came over to get our order, and I ordered an OFC and soda. And guess what happened? <laughs> yeah, he fouled up and brought me an OFC in water. <laughs> well, here's the upshot to this one. You'll love it. I refused to pay for the drink, so I wound up getting it free. <laughs> Magnificent eight-year-old Canadian OFC whiskey. During the holidays, customers will love a bit of this Canadian tradition. Or, for a change of pace, Pedro de Mec of Spain offers a whole array of sherries and brandies, from the elegantly dry La Ina to exquisite Fundador brandy. But the important thing to remember is the fact that Shenley has something for everyone, whether you're a garage mechanic in Arizona <laughs> or a brilliant actor in a Broadway theater.
Excuse me, Mr. Pond. Mm -hmm. uh, Want to tell me it's gotten time already? Uh, no, sir. Uh, we've developed a small problem. Problem? <laughs> what sort of a problem? Don't tell me we don't have a full audience. Uh, no, sir, we don't have a full cast. <laughs> Walk. Yes, sir. Uh, see, the butler just called in sick. Strips is it you? <laughs> well, we can't do the play without the butler. Find me a replacement immediately. Yes, sir. Well, there's only one available, sir. Well, what is it? You're looking at him. <laughs> you? But you're just the stage manager. Uh, well, well, I know, sir. But I've been with the play for two years, and, well, I think I know the part. You think? Where's <laughs> the curtain now? Thank you, Booby. <laughs> now, are you sure you know all the lines? Well, most of them. Mm, what about all the special effects? Who's going to make sure that all the props are working properly? Well, sir, uh, all you need is the bell when you pull the cord, yes. and then the telephone ring, and, and the gun. See, my cousin is in the audience. I think I can fill really him in. No, sir, this is sheer madness. We'll just have to cancel the play tonight. If you cancel the play, then you're going to have to give everybody back their money. <laughs> well, just then stand there like an idiot. Go get it your costume. <laughs> you know what I'm worried about? With me on the stage, no one will be looking at that idiot. Hmm, I'm down a court. <laughs> My, my, it's after seven. I wonder what's become of my enchanting fiance, Miss Dickerson. I'll ring for the butler and find out if she's arrived yet. No, I told. I thought you were dead. I see. Has my dinner guest arrived? Yes, uh, yes. Miss Dockerson is in the foyer. Not Dockerson, it's Dickerson. What? Uh, Dick, Dick! Hmm? Right. Uh, show Miss Dockerson in, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wonder what kind of holiday cocktail I should prepare for my darling. <clears throat> May I suggest I.W. Harbor, sir? Well, yes. Oh, it's the Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Yes, well, thank you very much, Charles. If you just show in Miss Dockerson, if you will. Thank you very much. <laughs> it makes a special evening an extra special evening. Thanks for sharing. I'll just show you. <laughs> Did I tell you it's 86 proof? Just show the picture. <laughs> I.W. Harper. Let's just hope that the I.W. stands for I will.
announcing Miss Dukerson. <laughs> oh, my darling. You look ravishing this evening. <laughs> Why, thank you, Franklin. I've been so looking forward to our dinner tonight. Well, see. <laughs> Come, my dear. Let's sit down and relax. Shall we? <laughs> oh, Charles, uh, would you uh, finish mixing our cocktails? We're having the bourbon. Oh, my darling, you look rapshy. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You look rapshy. I'm telling you, is this a new holiday dress for your wedding? Oh, silly boy, don't you remember I wore this to the theater last Tuesday night? <laughs> ah! I was just wondering, sir, if you would prefer the Knee Plus Ultra. The Rolls Royce of Scotches. Why? I can't get the other mother open. Never mind. <laughs> oh, uh, Franklin. Yes? I feel a slight headache coming on. Be a dear and get me some aspirin. Oh, my darling, all you have to do is ask to receive. Miss me. Miss me. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Yo, you want this drink? <laughs> no, for heaven's sake. Oh, I'm second thought. <laughs> my darling. Oh. My love. Oh, I've missed you so much. Oh. <laughs> here, here. Tell me, dear, do you think Franklin really suspects that I'm marrying him only for his money? No, we're too smart for that old fool. Now, don't forget the plan. You marry him, I arrange for the fatal accident, then you inherit the fortune, and then we're off. To Switzerland. My darling. I think I am coming. Wait here. I'll see. Do you hear him? Uh, I think he's in his room thumping around. <laughs> oh, my dear. Let us look at the moon together. Oh. <laughs> Look at the stars, the beautiful building. Magnificent view from here. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, from the penthouse, the beautiful stars, the view. Oh, my darling. Uh, the view is really, really just wonderful from up here. What am I doing out here, you ask? I'm looking for the cat. <laughs> oh, darling, I can hardly wait to be yours alone. Oh! See? Aha! So you two. Aha! So you two. Oh, uh, oh, how stupid of me, of course. They must have gone down to the travel agency to book passage on a trip to Switzerland, of course. Well, you? Back so soon? <laughs> well, so you two thought you could make a fool of me, eh? Well, now we'll see who the real fool is. <laughs> well, you see, it's... As soon as I finish my snack, I'm going to get a gun and do away with both of you. Uh, wait, before you do anything rash, think, and why don't you just uh, relax and have yourself some President de Brandy? 
<laughs> it's from a Pedro de Mac of Mexico, and it's a bar really delicious, just a really good. I mean, <laughs> uh, Or maybe you like some Andabrosia, or uh, maybe even uh, some uh, Peter Dawson Scotch. Boy, that's a real good too. Peter what? Or uh, how about uh, some Schindler Reserve, the all-American gift? Do you know that the, for mixability and the taste, you can't beat this dude? <laughs> what are you doing? This is let's make a deal. Oh, I know, but there's a guy out here from Schindler in the audience, and he said if I mention these, that uh, he'd take care of me. Take care of you, huh? Well, I'm going to take care of you for a guy. Uh, all right, Frank. Ah! <clears throat> Drop it. <laughs> you fool. Now that you've discovered our secret, we'll have to do away with you tonight. As soon as we've had some stock dry rosé of Peritivo, or some holiday punch made with Cruzan Virgin Islands rum. Pit of what? Or some Olay tequila, Real Sangria, or a little Fratelli Lambrusco. Or... Not you too. All right, you can do whatever you want. Just go ahead and do whatever you want, but let me tell you one thing. Just let me tell you one thing. Was that the telephone? I'll get it. Hello? Uh. You did there? Thank you. Well, that was the police. They're on their way up. The police? But they're not supposed to come into the third act. I'm shortening the play tonight. Yeah, but I got a lot more product to sell. Ah! Oh. So I didn't have to give him a tip. <laughs> and there's a little moral in there, too. You know what I mean? I mean, that's the sweet, sweet, sweet revenge, if you know what I mean. Well, Coronet BSQ Brandy, the wine drinker's brandy. Yes, sir. This holiday season will be enjoyed by wine lovers everywhere with Coronet VSQ Brandy. <laughs> Brings to mind probably one of the funniest stories you've ever heard in your whole life. Now listen to this. I mean, this is going to top ball. It happened to me while I was waiting in line for a trailsway bus. Well, <laughs> there I was about oh maybe uh, eight people in front of me. No, 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 by golly, I think there might have been uh, maybe nine or ten people in front of me. Maybe twelve, twelve and yeah, somewhere between ten and twelve. Anyway, I've been waiting, oh, close to five minutes at this time, I guess. All of a sudden, this little old lady steps right in front of me. Well, normally I'm polite to most people, you know, especially senior citizens. But this really got my dander up, you know? So I said, lady, hey, the end of the line is behind me. Not in front of me, it's behind me. That's where the end of the line is behind me. She said, this is what she said. She said, oh, please, I have to be in Phoenix by nightfall. Well, I said, well, then, you better go get the other line, lady, because this bus isn't going to Phoenix. It's going to Flagstaff. <laughs> Look on that lady's face when I told her that bit of news was worth a thousand words. Which reminds me of uh, uh, the spelling bee I was in when I was, well, no, 13 years old. I think it was. It was already into the ninth grade. Where there we were, all of us, kids, parents, teachers, having this water spelling. Well, I was having two 
Well, we've had a lot of fun here today and hope all of you enjoyed our show. <laughs> I, I know I did. I, I enjoyed it. But out. Uh, <laughs> the show tonight was made possible by Shenley Industries, the company that produces, imports, and markets more quality products from more countries than one could imagine. Dewar's White Label from Scotland. Matus from Portugal. OFC from Canada. Stock Amaretto del Orso from Italy. Dubonnet, the French idea of a cocktail. And from Kentucky, I.W. Harper, Charter 10, and Ancient Age. <laughs> yes, Shanley senses the needs and buying moods of consumers, which is evident with their innovative marketing of cocktails for two. Excuse me. Uh, uh, hmm? I was just wondering, why don't they make cocktails for three? Oh, Tim. <laughs> well, you see, uh, suppose the three people wanted to share a pina colada. Well, see, then there would be one left over who wouldn't get a drink. Well, then they'll buy two cocktails for two. Two, get it? Right. Two. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. wouldn't there be one left over that nobody would drink? Oh, Tim, for heaven's sake. Just drop it, will you? Not this. <laughs> and this holiday season, Shenley continues supporting your sales efforts with an outstanding advertising and sales promotion program, highlighted at the point of sale with their multi-brand display. <clears throat> Very good. Very good. Oh, I'm so glad you did that. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. It's all summed up to the consumer in this beautiful brochure. Give it tradition, this hop. Hmm? <laughs> Give it tradition, this holiday season. Shenley. Very good. Emmy stuff. <laughs> we in Shenley wish you a happy, healthy, and successful holiday selling season. Thank <laughs> you.